Now that we've looked at what the specification of a dynamic regression model looks like, um, we're going to look in this section of the book of how we're going to go about uh, estimating this in uh, using the Fable package. Now in Fable, we can specify what we want the um, errors, what are rumen process we want the errors to take. Now, if we specify some differencing um, of higher order than zero, so if we need some differencing, uh, what Fable will do, will take all the variables and difference them by the same order and then estimate the model in, uh, in differences. Now, if we don't want to specify um, the actual ARIMA dynamics of the error, so for example, in this code here, I've specified what my Y variable is and what my predictors are, but I'm not happy. I don't want to, uh, I don't know what the ARIMA process is. If I leave that blank, then what um, Fable will do, will estimate this model, look at the residuals, do a cap PSS test on it. If the residuals are non-stationary, then it will go in difference everything and come back with a model. So once we do that, we should uh, check our innovation residuals to make sure that they look like Y noise. Um, then if we are happy with these, the AIC can be calculated for the final model. Uh, and then we can repeat the procedure for all subsets of predictors. Um, and we can select the model with the lowest uh, AIC value, something that we did in chapter seven as well. Remember that AIC for models with different levels of differencing uh, is not comparable. Let's have a look at a, an example. Back to the US personal consumption and income uh, expenditure um, data. So we're just going to do a simple regression as we start at chapter seven. So we're going to regress consumption and income, but this time we're not going to use the TSLM function. We're going to use the ARIMA function. Hence, if needed, uh, we'll have a dynamic regression where the error as is needed here is modeled by a um, ARIMA process. So here we have um, that Fables chooses uh, an ARIMA 102. Um, and it's always good practice to write this down and understand what the model looks like. So we do this uh, just in handwriting. So if we let define as YT our consumption variable and XT our income variable, our regression model, our regression equation looks like this. So YT is equal to the intercept, which comes from down here, plus the marginal effect of income plus our error process. This is our regression error. And our regression error has this dynamics. It's got a armor one, two, if you want. So um, one order regressive coefficient, the AR1 here. So we're going to write that in, in backshift upper notation using the AR polynomial. And on this side, the MA polynomial, we have two MA terms. So um, an MA1 with a coefficient of minus 0.617 and MA2 with a coefficient of 0 0.206. And our innovation residuals, our residuals attached to this second equation are normally distributed um, IID with mean zero and variance um, 0.311, that's the estimated variance. Um, if we have a look at the residuals using the residual function and we specify that we want to look at the regression residuals, that's the estimated iters. And we look at the, this plot, we can see, by looking at the time plot, we can see that um, these are not randomly scattered around zero. So we expect some autocorrelation. And that is obvious when we look at the ACF um, and the PACF. And this can help us choose uh, an order of the AI and the MAs if we want to, if we didn't want to do that. Uh, if we didn't let um, Fable do that for us. Now, if I look at the innovation residuals, I should um, point out here that uh, if I didn't put anything in here, this is the default setting. So if I ask for residuals uh, of, uh, of fit, um, it would automatically select the innovation residuals. These are the ones we care about being white noise. Um, so we see here that uh, now we don't have any autocorrelation, so these are white noise. Hence, we've done a good job in fitting this model, and we are satisfied uh, with uh, with the model. Um, if we do a Lung box, the p-value clearly um, does not reject the null of white noise.